Welcome to CCC Cards. Uh, what brands are good to buy? What brands are overprinted? It's one thing I've been wondering. I got on eBay, searched up uh, cards as PSA 8, some as 9s. Combined the number of 9s and 10s together. Uh, of all or most of the retail sets. I don't know if I got all of them, but there's of uh, Kyler Murray, Joe Burrow, and Justin Herbert. Uh, with Burrow and Herbert, some I just did Burrow. I did all before where I believe the I believe the rated rookie was the last set. I could be wrong, or last retail set. I think. Before Joe Burrow tore his ACL and MCL. And then absolute to the end was all Herbert. But got Kyler. or comparing his stuff. Uh, as PSE 9s and 10s combined. The population to Joe Burrow 9s and 10s combined. Uh, before I start comparing. Go subscribe and like the video. Uh, starting off with score. Kyler Murray as PSA 9s and 10s. 607. Joe Burrow score. The LSU. 878 for the LSU. I don't know if one's more limited than the other. But in Kyler Murray's rookie year, he just had Oklahoma. He didn't have... Uh, he is a transfer quarterback. I don't know from where, but, uh, but, uh, I think they're just Oklahoma. No other college, whatever he transferred in from, I don't know where, but there's not that. But one thing I was wondering is with the COVID shutdown, if Pianini printed less cards because they didn't have as many employees. Looking at score, it does not look, uh, it does not look like they printed less. Either their employees worked harder or their states had different roles. I don't know. Prestige, Kyler Murray, the same card here as PSA 8s and 9s. 45, Joe Burrow Prestige, 202. And this is only 9s and 10s. 202 Prestige, Joe Burrows. That's almost four times the Prestige. The stickers, this is... this. My phone video stopped, so I had to restart that video, but... Uh, next sticker. This is just a sticker, not the card. It's the actual sticker. Uh, Kyler Murray, three. Joe Burrow, six. So double, but I don't know if that would be because they're not in as good as condition, but stickers should be in a whole lot better condition than the card. Most of the cards, their quarters look like Pokemon cards. And they're not supposed to look like that. But stickers, they should be in better condition. I wouldn't know if that sets printed less or people aren't sending in as many. Then the rated rookie, well, I got the borough right here. Rated rookie. Kyler Murray. 5,317 Kyler Murray rated rookies. To just Joe Burrow, same card right here, Joe Burrow. PSA 8s and 9s, 2,102. So, there is double the Kylers. So, that's a double Kylers. And then almost everything else, it's so much more Joe Burrows. I don't know 
why there's more donors of Kyler's than there's Burrow. I don't know if 2019 donors was overprinted or not. Or one thing that, but ever since the card boom, uh, more people have been sending to PSA and back in 2019, you could probably send in cards to PSA 45 days later, you got them back. Uh, if maybe 50 due to shipping. Uh, Joe Burrow, it's a lot different. But after Donner's came out, Joe Burrow had this sad injury towards ACL and MCL. But there is a guy that played just as good that we're going to compare the rest of the 2020 cards to Joe Bur or not Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. Absolute Kyler Murray, 481. Justin Herbert, 606. Herberts. So, two around 120 more. Rounded to the nearest 10. Tired of doing math. Uh, so, I'll just round the 120. Rounded to the nearest 10 as 120 more Herbert absolutes uh, than Kyler. Rookies and stars. Kyler Murray, 34. Justin Herbert, 36. So that uh, seems even printed. Uh, but rookies and stars, either it's less printed or... People aren't sending as much off because if you're a dealer, you want to send a card in for a hundred bucks. What do you rather send in? A rated rookie or a rookies and stars? Uh, you want to have the brand that gets you money and that's the rated rookie. So there probably is a whole lot more absolutes and rookies and stars. Those brands could be overprinted. Illusions. Kyler Murray. 205. Justin Herbert. 92. So half. Around half. Of the Herberts to Kyler's. It could be to PSA. Doesn't. Or isn't greeting. Fast like they did Kyler. Or Illusions might not be overprinted. I don't know. Uh, playoff. Kyler Murray 51. Justin Herbert 34. Uh, but this is. I don't know if this next brand is way overprinted. but Because it's got more than every single one of these brands combined. It's Prism. Kyler Murray Prism, 5,554 Kyler Murray Prisms as PSA 9s and 10s. The highest, and then Donner's, 5,317, that was the next highest, 200 less rated rookies of Kyler than Prisms. So, I don't think, I think they'd be, I think Prism might be printed more than, might be printed more than the rated rookie. Did, uh, for, uh, Joe Burrow, because I didn't do Herbert for rated rookie, there's 2,102. So, is there more Prisms than rated rookies? Uh, then the rookie ticket, because I was looking at contenders, there's only inserts. I was only doing base, so thought let's pick the best card. 
uh, the iconic rookie ticket. Uh, what has probably the top two rec top two spots for highest sold football cards? The rookie ticket. Kyler Murray, 87. Justin Herbert, 63. That would be one brand if it's printed so much more. Then you'd start to get war. Or it might me to start wondering why it's so much more printed. But more Kylers. It would make sense that there's a little more Kylers. Because of PSAs being backed up. Uh, playbook, 18, Kyler Murray's, 13, Justin Herbert's. I think that brand could be pretty close to equal printing. But, it seems like some of these cheaper brands, either they're, people aren't sending them in, or they're brands that people aren't, that Pianini is not printing as much of. Then the last brand, uh, Optic, Kyler Murray, 1,076, Justin Herbert, 648. Uh, so, the Optic, I don't know. It, it could be double like some of these brands. It could be pretty equal. But, but I think now with Select, Chronicles, uh, the newer football that's coming out now, I think it's way overprinted. Plus, they're making all these prices so expensive, uh, you can't win. You can't make money off your box. You will only lose, unless you got a good auto. So, stuff like that, I think, could lead to cards dropping. People not wanting to open the box and not even caring about the cards. Uh, but, I don't know if the optic would be overprinted out or not, but PSA being backed up would change a lot of stuff, but everything new, I think, will just be overprinted. Uh, you no know, kid are overpricing their stuff and overprinting. Uh, but the brands that I think would be good or would be better to invest in would be the rated rookie, I think, could be a good one. Uh, population. It's way older than the. It's older than the prison. And it's half the population. Uh, compared Burrow to Burrow with the rated rookie Herbert with the prison. Kyler, it's a little less. COVID shutdown could in, could change. Uh, the print the printing seems like for earlier sets your employees just worked harder. Uh, but it seems like the early sets the sticker. Seems like Sticker Donners, Rookies and Stars, Illusions Playoff, uh, Contenders Rookie Ticket would be a good one. Uh, on, I want to try to do what I am saying on, I'd want to try to do uh, what I say on CCC cards. Uh, not do one thing, say one thing on the channel and then go do another off camera but contenders i think would be a good brand to invest in but i would tell you right now i don't have the money for it i couldn't buy a kyler rookie ticket or a harbor rookie ticket but cheaper stuff like a playbook i could afford uh but i think everything select 2020 select and newer would be good to sell uh if you want old stuff these lower populations is what i think would be good to invest in what do you mean this guy 
pain meaning would also be a good one too. Uh, uh, I think old stuff and low population stuff would be good to invest in, not the high population. Just go buy a Ken Griffley rated rookie or a Jose Canseco rated rookie. The overprinted 90s. Uh, subscribe and...